Vivo's V series has always been photography focused and this includes the new V19 that was just launched last week. Now I've had some time with it and I've been using it for a while so here are my thoughts. Just like its predecessor, the V19 has a 6.44 inch Super AMOLED display that pushes full HD plus resolution. The screen has really good contrast and vibrant colours but what caught my attention is its levels of brightness. Even under the glaring sun, the display doesn't dim out and the content on the screen remains visible. With the V19, we will switch from pop-up cameras to a punch hole design. The V19 has a cutout for its dual front cameras on the top right and personally that works better for me than putting it on the left. Similarly, it also comes with face unlock and fingerprint unlock which have been accurate and quick so far. The only downside is the fingerprint scanner's position which would have been better if it's slightly higher. Another thing that appealed to me is the design of the V19. It's available in two colours, Gleam Black and Sleek Silver and I'm so glad I got the latter. The Sleek Silver's V19 is a gorgeous colour, one that stands out among others in the market. It's very reflective and some may like it, some may not, but I like the way the colour changes subtly when you move the phone around. This is definitely one of the phones that should go without a case or if you must, a transparent case. I've got no complaints regarding its performance either. It has a Snapdragon 712 processor paired with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage and gaming with this phone has been pleasant so far. There is one feature that uh, I really like in its ultra game mode and it's the voice changer feature. I get to change the sound of my voice in game which is really fun especially when I'm playing games with strangers. Vivo V19 Voice Changer Vivo V19 Voice Changer Vivo V19 Voice Changer Vivo V19 Voice Changer Also, the V19 now ships with Funtouch OS X and I think it's nice that they changed the control center to the top instead of the bottom. It feels more familiar to me and I just find it more convenient. Moving on to the cameras. I've always liked the bokeh effect on the V series models and this includes the V19 because the edge detection is more accurate and the bokeh effect looks less harsh. Taking night selfies is a breeze. I don't have to worry about the lighting because the phone will automatically detect when there's insufficient lighting and enable something called the selfie fill light so I still get to take well lit selfies. Um, it also did well in selfies with backlighting because it can bring back the details of the background even though it looks overexposed when I'm taking the picture. Apart from the 32 megapixel front lens, there is also the 8 megapixel super wide selfie lens to fit more in your selfies. So you lose a little bit of details and clarity with this lens, but it's perfect for your group selfies. When it comes to the rear cameras, the Vivo V19 has a 48 megapixel lens paired with an 8 megapixel super wide angle lens, a 2 megapixel bokeh sensor, and a 2 megapixel macro sensor. As I've mentioned in the previous V19 unboxing video, this phone is great at night photography. The colors are vibrant and sharp, and there are times when I won't even need to turn on the night mode. The night mode is just great to get more details and improve the brightness when I'm in low light situations. To be fair, the daylight photos captured by the V19 have pleasant colors that doesn't oversaturate and photos turn out clear, but there's room for improvement when it comes to the highlight and exposure. The V19 tends to overexpose brighter parts of the pictures, especially when I'm using the super wide angle lens. Still, it's great that the distortion isn't obvious in its super wide photos. And when it comes to tiny tiny details, the V19's macro lens is the go-to lens. I get to capture fine details in smaller subjects, which really makes the daily things in life more interesting than usual. There are a few things I really like about the V19 and this includes its battery life. The V19 is a beast in longevity. With a huge 4500mAh battery, I never need to charge this phone daily. Even when I game for a few hours using the V19, I only need half an hour to get half its battery life back since it has a 3 watt fast charging. For ringgit, the V19 is a mid-range option worth getting especially if you're constantly on the phone and you love posting on social media. 
it has a great display, you get 6 cameras that performs well, and best of all, it has a long battery life. The design is also really pretty, but I think that's more of a bonus feature to me. And as compared to its predecessor, it's also better because it has a more powerful chipset and it supports 33 watt fast charging. So, if you're interested in getting the V19, it's already available now and you can get it via Vivo's online store. Plus, if you get it online, you'll also be getting extended warranties and a free V19 gift box. That's it for my review video of the Vivo V19. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.